Alrighty guys, welcome to your 25th video. I can't believe so many of you guys are still watching this. Who would want to put up with me for 25 videos? You guys would. And congratulations because we only have like 3 videos to go max. And in this tutorial, what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to make this program button which is actually very simple and also this logout button and actually these are probably the two most easy things to make on this footer so you guys are in luck this is like a pretty much a free tutorial so the program button and um, we might as well go ahead and add a comment for the logout button log out. Guys, here's the thing I was always wondering. Is logout two words or is it one word like a logout? I don't know. Go ahead and uh, answer in the comment section because I've always wondered that. But anyways, for the program button, of course, the first part is easy. The first thing you do whenever you want to make a button is you add a list item. List item. Yeah, yeah. Bucky, I knew that already. And let me go ahead and copy this. Could have typed it already, but... And to add any text on it, what you do is you add programs. Now on my website, what I want to do is I like to make this a little bit different because we're going to have a bunch of programs like um, a group chat where it's like a private chat room, a private messenger, which is like um, an instant messenger built into the website. Also, all these different programs on my website, but I don't just want to make it in a usual list because then it doesn't really look like I kind of want it to mimic like uh, operating system and that's what this the point of this entire footer is it kind of mimics an operating system within your browser so in order to achieve this effect what we did is we built an unordered list in here now that's why I had to style it a little bit differently because right now we already have an unordered list the entire footer is and the list items are buttons so whenever we make an unordered list in here unordered list unordered list what we need to do is we need to give it the class drop up now it knows that okay this isn't just a normal unordered list that you're building your footer this is actually a special drop up menu that kind of resembles and we already styled this we don't need to do it again it, it styles pretty much the programs in your operating system so of course whenever we add a list item in here and I can just make one and copy it a bunch of times. Whenever we make a list item in here, a href, say that this is, you know, maybe you made a group chat or something, you can add a link to the group chat. Hold on, got an itch in my ear. And now it's going to display as its own little section. And I always thought it would be a cool idea to make a little icon, but, you know, I'm just kind of lazy. Maybe, you know, um, a couple people chatting or maybe a little um, message blurb and maybe for a calculator you can have like a one two three four button but anyways it would be cool if you added a little image icon right here but for now we'll keep things simple this is how you add the items in your programs drop up menu so what do we have a group chat like a instant messenger let's just go ahead and t add two more meme generator that would be awesome to have for your website. Hmm, I wonder if anyone's developing this. Oh, Bucky'sRoom.com, coming soon. And also a forum. Wouldn't it be cool if you could have a social network with a forum and, you know, a bunch of other programs that people could work on open source? Hmm, if only there's a website. Link below. Plug, plug. Anyways, that's how you create a very simple programs menu just like this. It's basically an unordered list within an unordered list. It's called unordered list exception. Coin that, copyright it, don't use it, or else I'm gonna sue ya. JK. Alright, now I'm gonna show you guys the next easiest thing. And if you thought that this was easy, just wait till you see what I'm about to show you guys now. So the first thing we need to do is add another button. So list item, list item. And of course, we want some text on our button. And, and by the way, I'm making the logout button right now. And as you can see, all of these buttons right here they float to the left automatically so we're basically going to build this toolbar and all the buttons are going to be pushed up against the left home account profile two columns programs but the logout button I want to make it on the right hand side so in order to do that the first thing we need to do is href 
a log out we need to add some text to our button now actually in this the entire class the list item go ahead and write right probably should probably should uh pick different words to say that right right type the word right there we go now what this does is it make makes this button float to the right hand side now we already said that okay we already styled all of it so whenever we add the class right to a list item in other words a button it takes that button and it pushes it to the right hand side so that's why this logout button isn't butted up with the rest of these buttons it's on the right hand side just like that and guys if you think that there's more that we have to do guess what we don't that's it how freaking sweet is that so basically in this tutorial we covered two buttons the programs menu which is basically a menu within a menu menu section or unordered list section whatever the heck I called it and also the logout button basically like a normal button but you float it or push it to the right hand side of your screen boom roasted in the next tutorial we only have one more thing to cover and that's adding these little notification icons as well as this little uh, I don't know what we what did we call this thing like the notification blurb that pops up so um, on my website I have it where it's a little envelope and whenever you have a new message you can just hover over it and check your messages real quick it's pretty or if someone sends you a new friend requ request you can hover over it and uh, see who requested you be because you know you don't want to go to your friend request section. Everyone's lazy. That's another click. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.